Listen, I spoke to, after Devin's fight, I spoke to Shakur outside, and he said he's going to activate his mandatory and talk to Bob Arum to fight Devin next. So have Bob Arum contacted you regarding uh, the Shakur fight, and have you heard anything from the WBC? I think Shakur's activator might be broke. You know what? Who who would you say is more dangerous fight for uh, Devin right now, man? Javante Davis or Shakur? Only Dev only dangerous fight for Devin is Devin. He's fighting against himself, you know, uh, just to get better and better and better to beat his his personal best. I talked to, I talked to Shakur outside, you know, shortly after his out, and he said he was uh, willing to activate that mandatory. Yeah, I mean, as he should, he could he, he could have been activating it. Uh, Brian Garcia was in the crowd. Do you think that was Scotty? I don't know. I don't know. Brian's been my mentor before. So, listen, the WBC uh, said that you're Devin Haney's mentor. So, are you going to fight him next? I'm fighting the winner next. I mean, it's depending on if he stay at 135. I'm hearing he's going to go up. Yeah, Haney said he expects you to activate your mandatory position. So I am. Okay. I am. Okay. Listen, have you talked to Bob Aram about making this fight? And if so, what did he say? I ain't, I ain't really had too much uh, conversation with him tonight, but uh, we gonna, we gonna talk. So, what's your thoughts on Bob Aram claiming that your, a fight with uh, a fight with you and Tank will probably lose money? I ain't got nothing bad to say about Bob. I ain't, <laughs> you know, I'm just uh, staying focused on the uh, main goal. Based on what you saw these last couple of weeks, who, who would win, Haney and Davis? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think y'all know. No, no, we don't. No, that's yeah, I know. I ain't gonna say. Hey, 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 if you can't get Tank, you know. if you can't, if you can't get Tank or Devin, who, who else will you want next? Anybody can get it. Yeah, most Any one of them can get it. Anybody. Would you still want to fight Loma, even though you know he lost? I think it. man, Lomachenko be a real good fight. Lomachenko look like the old Lomachenko tonight, so um, I would definitely be down to fight Lomachenko. Yeah. Thank you, Shakira. You ever, you, ever, you ever think it's weird though, like the American fighter got booed at home? That seems to only happen in the United States, you know? It's kind of weird, especially being that Devin lived at Vegas um, most of his life, so it is a little bit weird, but I don't know what's up with the fans. Did you see any flaws today, Devin? Him. Did you see any flaws? Did you see any flaws in Devin? Yeah, I saw a lot of flaws. Can I get a picture? How, when you guys did used to spar, you said you always used to get the better of them. Like, how so? Were you just sharper? Or like, how, how would it play out more times than not? I feel like I was just a uh, better fighter. I always felt like I was a better fighter. I, I feel like I'm the best fighter in boxing. And I stand on that. And I ain't just saying something to, like uh, for the media or the fans. That's what I actually like really believe. So I stand on that. I know I know you, you keep it tight-lipped about any X's and O's talk. But even though he's the bigger guy, are you the better guy in close, in the pocket? Like, would you have the edge when, when he told a toe, so to speak? I just stood next to him. He's not that much bigger than me. He's not that much bigger than me. Like, I'm right there. In size, um, Lomachenko a lot smaller than, but I'm right there in size for sure. Jay, Jay, you think we get this fight next, Jay? Looking you, you, you. forward to it. Huh? Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, how's it look with your man Shakur and Devin Haney? They still, it's gonna be a beautiful night. Do you think the business makes sense right now? <laughs> yeah. to go down? We're gonna make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Shakur. Thanks, Shakur. Thank Thanks, Shakur. Thank Thanks, Shakur. Thank Thanks, Shakur. Shakur Stevens is the one person who continues to say your name. Got into the ring, you guys just changed the words. What was said there, and do you see you and him cross the path at some point? Yeah, um, I just said that I'm number, I'm, I'm number one. I just let him know that, that, that I'm number one, and that's what he said for now. But um, <laughs> right now, I, I'm number one, so. Uh, I didn't, Bob ain't said his name. I didn't say it. Yeah, Bob doesn't say his name at all. Uh, but, um, <laughs> yeah, Bob ain't said his name. My phone ain't ringing. But, uh, no, listen, of course, I'm. I'm I've been very vocal about that me, Shakur, her own collision course. That they said that they would and were potentially going to order the fight and spoke to Mayweather Promotions and Javante Davis, and that Javante Davis and team uh, said that they, if that was to happen, they were going to be going another direction, meaning that they would have dropped, in the, dropped the belt and did something else. Uh, what we can't do is we can't force the mandatory Devin is the super champion. Um, you know, someone ha would have to force Javante to take his title and then force Devin in a fight to become uh, the super champion in the division, to my understanding. So, uh, no, they've definitely let um, 
the WBA and Gilberto Mendoza, who let Devin Haney know that they weren't they weren't being quick or diligent about making that fight happen between Haney and uh, Tank Davis by way of using a mandatory. So if Javante don't step up to the plate, do you expect Shakur Stevenson to step up to the plate? Um, you know, I, I I respect uh, Shakur and I respect their team and also respect the position that he's in. Um, and I wouldn't expect anything else for him to uh, become a world champion and a lightweight division. All the roads lead through Devin Haney, just like Devin said. Yeah, but uh, what I'm asking is, Clearly, you saying Javante didn't want to activate his mandatory position, but do you see and do you expect Shakur to activate his WBC mandatory in order to fight Devin Haney? I didn't. I didn't expect. I didn't expect um, Ryan Garcia not to activate his mandatory. Um, I didn't expect Javante Davis not to, and I don't expect. Uh, I don't expect Shakur Stevenson not to. Time will tell, and let's just see. So, Bill, when you hear people say uh, belts don't matter in the lightweight division, however, they tend to matter in every other division. They matter at 154, where Jamal Charlo is undisputed. They matter at 168, where Canelo is undisputed. They matter in any division, heavyweight, so on and so forth, but lightweight. Why do you think you never hear fighters like Crawford, Errol Spence say belts don't matter, but you hear other fighters in the lightweight division that don't have belts say belts don't matter? Well, the belts don't matter until Devin Haney got them. See, when, Dev, when Devin didn't have them, then that's what you had to have. You had to have a belt. And, and I think Tank said, does he even have a belt? And I think Lomachenko says, get a belt. Everybody said the belt. Oh, doesn't he have an email belt? But when he got all of the belts, that's when belts didn't matter. You know, so, um, you know, we know that it's some BS. Uh, you know, we'll continue to uh, to prove that, you know, being the best means that you're fighting for the best, which is all the belts undisputed. Um, and I know for a fact that Devin has the same dream uh, to go on and do it in, a, in the next division at 140 pounds is to become the undisputed champion of the world back to back.